What's up guys? So here we are giving you a cruise tip. Uh, Packing tutorial. Yeah, all that good stuff. So we'll go ahead and start it off. You pick an item. <laughs> Um, okay, so first you will find out we are very heavy packers, so scales are our life. Um, this one I kind of prefer because you don't have to worry about uh, battery, but this one's really nice. Um, this one's my favorite. It's kind of an all-in-one. It's digital. It has a little snap. I like that a lot. Clip it onto your bag. You lift it up. It even has a little flashlight. Very useful. Both of them are very lightweight, easy to pack. You right. got them both on Amazon? Yeah. We're going to link a lot of the items in the description below. So if you want links to specific items, check that out later. Definitely. Okay, I'll pick one. Uh, and this is uh, mainly a cruise tip, although you could take this on another. Uh, All inclusives yeah. that would probably work well for any generic vacation. This is one of mine that uh, would be specifically for a cruise. And it is one of these. This is a little heavy duty. They have other ones that have less ports. But in a cruise cabin, you're going to have one receptacle. And that's to charge your phone. If, you're having, if you have a camera, you're charging that. Any kind of chargeables are all on that one thing. And you have to have cables long enough. This has a six foot cord. It has all of these available sockets. And it also has three USBs, which are the, the fast so it'll charge your phone fast as well. This is essential, not necessarily this big one, but you definitely want one. Definitely a must have. There's yeah. such a limited availability. You might have one other outlet in the bathroom, I'm thinking, for like, uh, hair yeah, dryer. yeah, hair. Well, they supply a hair dryer, but like curling iron straightener, shaver, whatever. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, yeah, I think you only yeah. have one in your main bathroom. Essential. Cabin. Yes. Um, kind of generic, but big lifesaver for me is like a little passport holder so I keep my passport in here I also have a notepad for post-its um, that you know I can throw on our friend's cabin door or whatever um, pen very essential when flying internationally when you're filling out that uh, customs declaration on the plane and the plane has like two for everybody to share always have a pen um, and then any other travel documentation are cruise boarding pass, if it's an all-inclusive, all the paperwork here, transportation paperwork, everything folds up, goes in my uh, personal bag, and this is my life. I have one similar, but it wraps around my neck. Did you have that? She did not pack it. <laughs> so we would not be getting on the plane. <laughs> but still, it's, uh, they recommend it for travel, like if you're going to Europe or whatever, you it hangs around your neck, you have all your money, your passport, around your neck, under your shirt. Uh, I like using that most of the time. And that's where I'll keep most of my valuables. And that's how I travel, plane, all the way to the room, basically. Um, another thing to mention with the passports is that we read that you should leave a copy of your passport with your family back home, take a copy of your passport, leave the actual passport in the safe in your room, and then take a copy on your excursion with yeah, you. Just so, a copy. Yeah, so we don't carry our actual passports with yeah, us. It stays in the safe, you, know, you have your copy in your wallet, you, you go on. I'm not sure what that does, how much it helps having a copy, but read it and went by it, so hey, passing not? the word. <laughs> it's easy. Uh, we'll go with some bottles, although we don't have mine, but this is her version. Uh, typically you want a bottle uh, filtered, some kind of filter that attaches to it. This is a bobble and you fill it up and then it has a filter right on there. So we had uh, initially read easy. on the cruises that some people I'll don't like the mine. taste of the cruise water. Um, we have no problem with it. So initially that's why we bought the filtered water bottle. So you really don't need a filtered water bottle. Um, also some people, like if you're getting the, the beverage pass where you get the unlimited pop, um, some people will take like a, a little tumbler or whatever that you can um, fill with the pop or coffee in the morning or whatever it may be. Um, so that's another tip if you are getting that, that way you'll have a big, um, a big bottle to carry your liquid around in. So, this is on the table drying out, but this is what I tend to get. It is a, a water hydration bladder. I have a bag that actually has a, a place for this to go. It's a backpack. I usually have my camera equipment in it. 
and then we'll fill this full of ice usually and then fill the rest full of water and I'll stick it in there. I attached a filter to it so you know and then you just take a, a suck out of it when you're thirsty. It'll hold two liters. I also have a three liter one. See on the topic of water we got this on one of our last excursions and it's pretty handy it just snaps over the top of a water bottle so then you don't have to carry your water bottle you can put it around your neck your shoulder whatever and they actually sell something similar every single time you're getting off the cruise ship at a port um, it's a carnival one and then they have like it's a, a huge liter it's like a, or yeah one liter. liter I think it's a one liter water bottle yeah. that you'll get with it I think it's what maybe like 10 probably uh, it's a souvenir, yeah. so it's going to be a little it's, more expensive. It's a little high, but you can get it, but this is really handy. Well, I imagine it's going to be really heavy, so we've never bought one of those. Yes, yes, exactly. Yeah. What do you want? Um, if you're going anywhere that you're doing, like, backcountry, jungly stuff, mosquitoes love me, so I make sure I always have bug spray with us. So if you don't want to carry a little bottle of bug spray, I found these little wipes that I think are pretty neat. Um, I'll just take like a little sandwich bag and throw a couple of those in there in each port that I think we're going to need them and then throw those in my bag so I don't have to carry the whole thing, but very handy. Of course, lots of sunscreen. They are going to sell it on the ship and in ports, but you're going to pay a pretty penny for it, so make sure you have plenty. All right, we either buy that or I'll make my own. Um, another thing is if you are planning on snorkeling in the ocean, there's a lot of really good reef-friendly um, sunscreens that aren't going to bleach the reef, so think about getting one of those if you're going to be snorkeling in the water. Yeah, help the ocean, <laughs> save our planet, all that good stuff. Which yeah, comes course. into why I make my own. Exactly, of course aloe. Aloe is Essential. important. <laughs> Two other things that I take, I don't take both of them. Um, either a Tide pen or these Shout Go Wipes. Um, sometimes, you know, packing light on a cruise, you're going to be reusing pants for dinners and if you get something on your pants the first night you don't want to look like an idiot the rest of the night so they do have laundry services on the cruises but who the hell wants to do laundry on a cruise not us but you do have that option so next is another important item uh is our first aid kit essential yes essential and it's not just band-aids and stuff but we bought this nice little case and then nicole stuffed it full of a bunch of Fun little items. So let's take a look at what we got. So this might take a minute. <laughs> so allergy medicine. Uh, anywhere we go down south, uh, I immediately get, you know, a runny nose. And then that runny nose leads into the lungs and then I get bronchitis. So if I can stop it before it gets there, it's a big win. Uh, what else would you say? Um, I mean, just your basic, like, I have ibuprofen, there's a little bottle or a bag somewhere in here like this of, um, extra strength Tylenol. We just got the little pill bag so we don't have to carry around bottles. This is Motion Ease, so it is a, almost like an essential oil. You rub it behind your ear and then it's supposed to help with, uh, seasickness. Um, some kind of bug bite, itch relief stuff, always key, mm -hmm. um, Imodium, especially if you're going to Mexico. Um, what else we got in here? Sewing. Benadryl. Kits. We have Some little buttons, buttons mm -hmm. and pens somewhere else in this bag. I have a sewing kit. Yeah, sewing kit. Just a little one. Need it every now and then. Pop a button, you know, on some nice pants. It's nice to have. Um, one thing I found that I thought was pretty neat is this little waterproof pill thing so if you ever you know need to take medicine while you're out on a water excursion you can take that along with you and then that way you have it available to you yeah. um, and then on this side we have the kind of regular, first aid yeah, yeah. neosporin gauze band-aids yeah. nail stuff we have um the spray flex on. seal spray on waterproof band-aid um, i have super glue you have to go have to have super glue everywhere you go mm -hmm. as a first aid so this has a bunch of Band-Aids, gauze, there's the super glue in there, um, antiseptic stuff. We've got like little tourniquet rubber stuff, um, more yeah. gauze, I just your basic stuff. Yeah. So that is our first aid kit. We yeah. don't go anywhere without this. Right. 
And a lot of people forget allergy medicine. That is, and people who might not have allergies that bad, but we had several people who go with us, and one, we were in Key West, and the girl had to look for a CVS because she was so miserable, she couldn't do anything until she had some medicine. So. And he almost missed this really awesome excursion yeah. we did, like, it was like, what, 12 or 14 hour yeah, day in Jamaica, long. and he was so miserable. Yeah, we almost We canceled. almost canceled and just lost our money, right. but he took a pill and he powered on, and I don't luckily... I think we had pills, I think I really? was lucky, and we... Maybe that was... Pretty pre-first aid kit. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. So, yeah. Everywhere. Um, cool Ziploc bags, I'll usually take a bunch of gallon bags and, like, the little sandwich baggies, like I said. Um, gallon bags especially good for packing wet clothes on the way home. Um, and then on the way out, especially, I'll make sure to pack all of our liquids, our sunscreens, our lotions, any toiletries like that in gallons of black baggies so that they do not explode and get all of our clothes. So that's a big thing. Um, wrinkle release, obviously you're not going to take this big one, I couldn't find our little one, but handy when um, when you're doing like formal nights and stuff, some of your clothes don't come out as great, but um, we do use the rolling method and I do, I did hurt I did hear that rolling your clothes around trash bags help reduce wrinkles. So I'll roll our dress clothes around trash bags, and then I just roll the rest of our clothes, and we usually don't have problems with wrinkles, but something to think about. Right. Uh, Here we go. Yeah. Uh, just something basic. It's just a flashlight. It has a whistle on the end. It's really skinny, and it doesn't take up much, but it could make a difference if you're... Because the rooms are really black, uh, dark, blackened out. Uh, you're in a hull of a ship, so... I mean, if for any reason they were, power was to go out, you would have it. Not necessary, but we usually put it in our bag. Also good if you're, like, spending the night at, you know, a beach hotel the night before or after your cruise or whatever. If you go out, like, you know, oh, yeah. walk in the beach at night or, you know, Definitely. early in the morning, you want a flashlight. Yeah, so. it's very nice to walk the beach. There's usually all kinds of different sea Creatures. life. <laughs> yeah, even more so in the day. Yeah. So walking the beach at night is a lot of fun. And if you definitely need a flashlight for that. Okay. It's scary at times, you know? <laughs> never know. Um, waterproof watch. Yeah. Make sure you take a watch, and if it's if you're doing water excursions, make sure it's waterproof. Because um, you want to set your watch to the ship time. Your phone time is going to recognize where you are, and unless you have that setting turned off, and adjust the time based on where you are, and might miss your ship. So Don't want to miss ship. Watch never fails. Yeah, watch. Unless your battery fails. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we, as you should know, always have a waterproof camera. No matter where we go. This is one of my older ones, but this was just to, you know, prove the point. Waterproof camera. Very important. Unless you don't want to film that kind of stuff, then whatever. Um, an old gift card is always good for um, the safe yeah. because we've heard you don't want to use your credit card because it might deactivate it. Yeah. But this is what a lot of the safes will run off of um, if they don't have a magnetic strip. Um, if they don't have the keypad oh. with the numbers, they'll use a magnetic strip card like this. So we always have a, a crappy card that we have. Mm -hmm. uh, extra locks. Uh, we were fortunate enough to have bought an extra lock. And I think other times we had to buy at the airport. Mm -hmm. But sometimes they'll let you check an extra bag or something like that. So our carry-ons, we don't, especially on the way home, we don't want to deal with it. So we'll just throw a lock on the carry-on and let them check it. Also handy, um, we did do an all-inclusive one time where we had to park all of our baggage in the hotel lobby. Like anyone could oh, yeah. just walk up and get in it. For hours. Yeah, for hours. We weren't able to get into our room. So we were like, okay, we're just gonna leave our luggage here with everybody else's and go to the beach. But we didn't want anybody getting in. Luckily, we had two extra locks for our two carry-ons that weren't originally locked. So. And there was one time in the airport where they forced her to check her bag and she was freaking out. I forgot I had all his watches in my carry-on. Yeah, we had, Thank uh... God, nothing happened. Because I had gotten a couple more watches, and, yeah, they made us check it. Yeah. But, good um, to have extra locks. You want to talk about corkage? Uh, corkage. Uh, we usually bring a wine opener, just a, you know, manual, easy one. 
uh, because they will charge you, if you take wine, you're allowed one bottle per person. Per person. And, but there's a corking fee at dinner, which is probably $10. Yeah, I think I heard much. it was like 10 or $15. But if you don't want to pay that, you want to have it in your room. So this is how you, you know, drink that. <laughs> So obviously we do a lot of water beach type excursions, um, so water shoes are a necessity. Um, usually we pack a couple, again, we're overpacked. Yeah, we have a lot of variety. <laughs> so I have my basic um, water shoes. These are shoes. really good. They're not really basic. These are high end. These are the mares and they're like puncture resistant. I'm taking it over because I bought it for her. <laughs> <laughs> She's cheap, so I have to buy the good stuff for her. <laughs> anyway, they're very good. Wa they're not. They're more uh, scuba. Yes. Fin shoes. I'm just meaning your basic neoprene style yeah. water shoe that you would get at like Comfortable, CVS. Comfortable. Very or durable. These are more of the cheaper water shoes, although they are very nice compared to your Walmart type of, of thing. Yes. This is hers, and I got it on Amazon. And it's a very nice shoe. You like it, it's, right? It's really lightweight. So these are our like more gym shoe style yeah. water shoes when we're not so much doing like ocean stuff, but like waterfall climbing. Yes, yeah. um, stuff like that. Um, so yeah, these are super super lightweight. Like they weigh nothing. I love these so much. Mm -hmm. And you'll see that they just have like mesh, and the water drains right through the bottom. You will collect mm -hmm. rocks in there, as you see. Yeah. Um, but I love these, and they're they weren't that expensive on Amazon. Yeah. These I got Meyer. Uh, I don't know if you have it in your neck of the woods, but it was they were cheap, and I have a ton of different ones. But these are some of my favorite because they're just like a tennis shoe, so they're really rugged, mm -hmm. and and they drain. So these are probably my favorites. And his have a little bit more like padding yeah, a inside, um, a little bit better foam. So his are more gym shoe style. He'll wear them more often than I wear mine. Um, I just don't have that. We often take fins as well, because like I said, every time we go, we do a water activity. So well, we, we take like, our whole snorkel set. Yeah. We, we have, take fins, mask, snorkel, everything. Definitely. Always mask, not always the fins, because those are pretty heavy. Even these that we usually take, these are shorties, so they don't, they're, don't take as much space, and they're a little lighter weight. And they work just as good. I like them. These are some of my favorites. And... Uh, yeah, I usually have, this is another bag that I will pack with nothing in it, it's just, it's just a mesh bag, so it packs, you know, in there, and there's some stuff in there right now, but we will have, this is my mask, so I usually get one that has, I guess I can show them, I like the ones with the, the side view, they're uh, called panoramic, and you always want something with the glass and with the rubber or the silicone gasket. Those are some good stuff. And then I usually get one. You can buy these separately, but it keeps your hair from pulling, especially for girls. Yes. I think there's actually your little uh, my other one in here. Your turtle thing. There you go. Yeah, I haven't put this on my mask. I don't even know why, but um, probably have another one on. Yeah, <laughs> probably do have another one on there. But I found these, thought they were pretty neat. Um, but yeah, they definitely save your hair girl. So, and I think that cost me what, like maybe five bucks at some shop in Florida. It was uh, awesome. Yeah, it was really. What was the shop? Like Pro something. But I always take a little lotion bottle as well in my scuba gear because if you're in the, you know, the salty ocean, as soon as you wash off, you're going to be dried out. And then a small bottle of. This is um, no fog for your goggles, so I bought a big bottle of it, and then I just fill this up continuously. Some people use dish soap. Uh, you can use spit if you have nothing. Uh, that's just what I have prepared. And then, as I was saying before, I do make my own sunscreen. So this is typical bottle. I like these. They're very nice. I'll try to list them on Amazon. But they're, they're durable, and this is an 8 ounce, I have a 4 and a 2, but you can make this really easy. I think this one is probably coconut oil, you know, zinc oxide. You can look up the recipe and you can put in different things. I'll usually put in lemongrass a lot of times, so it's also a mosquito repellent. So we try to go a little eco-friendly slash, I don't know, 
I just like making it. <laughs> and it works really well. We also make the, one of those bars, lotion, mm -hmm. like uh, sunscreen bars. And you just put them in the, in the freezer and they're nice and hard and you can take them anywhere. They're more better for home use, more better, yeah. I just They're better for home use um, than being out and about because, yeah, we usually do have to keep them in the, the freezer or the refrigerator. Otherwise, they kind of start melting together. So maybe not the best for... Um, Right excursion. As long as you put it in, goop. yeah, in the goop is just as good. <laughs> it's I like a little goop. messy. Uh, another thing you're gonna want is a nice sun hat. So we usually bring a variety. We have a I lot like, of hats. I like the bucket hats. You know, you've seen me with a lot of different visors. <laughs> I definitely like visors. Uh, she'll have a. Either, I usually either take a visor or, or like a, a baseball hat. cap, or this is actually a sun hat. It's a little beat up right now. It's honestly just been sitting in the suitcase. Um, it might be a little jacked up. But um, this one's really cool. I found it on Amazon. It's got like a um, wire. Yeah, a wire around the, the brim. So a lot of the sun hats I've bought in the past, they kind of lose their life and they just like completely flop. This, like I said, it, it needs a little like steaming now, but it'll pop back to shape pretty quickly. Um, and then you can bend it and shape it however you like to to look good once you get um, where you're going. And another feature that I like of this, it's got this little drawstring thing on the inside. So you can make it as tight as you want on your head, which is great when you're, especially when you're on the ship and the wind's blowing so hard or anywhere by the ocean, the wind's blowing hard. Um, that way you don't have to worry about finding a hat that fits you exactly. You make it to fit. So that's one of my favorite things. I didn't know any of that. <laughs> that I got on Amazon, so that's another item we'll link below. I'm sure there's a lot of these other items we've got there, so we can link. Um, shoes, so I usually try to take a shoe like this that's going to be good with like shorts and a tank top as well as I can dress it up and wear it with my um, dresses to dinner so I don't have to take dress shoes, that's less I have to pack. And also, I don't want to be wearing heels on a cruise ship when it's a little, oh, sometimes yeah. a little rocky. Um, I'm just not into that, so I always try to take a versatile shoe that I can dress up and dress down. So that's my little tip there. Um, let's talk about bags. So another thing, an evening bag. I usually have like a little wristlet thing that I keep my uh, key card in, some chapstick, whatever. Um, and I got one similar to this on the, one of our cruises for like 10 bucks, and I used the crap out of it and then I used it as a wallet when I got back home and then it eventually broke, but it was a good buy. You can find really good, um, well, I won't say really good, you can find really cheap $10 bags on the cruise ship if you need, but definitely recommend a little bag to keep your stuff in. So this is one of my bathroom accessories. Well, we both use it on the cruise, but this is my favorite style. She had a, she has a different one, and we've used that as well. But this is the one I usually take to the gym. Uh, but basically, you're gonna have all your stuff. You hook it on the shower head. You have your loofah. We've got some, and this both sides open up, and this side, like you have, it's got a lot of storage, but you have spaces yeah. for. You know, your body wash, your conditioner, yeah. your shampoo. The cruise ships do supply, I forget if it's all three or like a two-in-one shampoo and conditioner, right. but they do supply it in the shower. But I always bring my own just because mm -hmm. I feel like it doesn't do as yeah. good of a job getting the chlorine and the salt water out of my hair. Mm -hmm. um, and then he takes like a three-in-one yeah. men's thing. So. And it's great. It smells great and it does everything. And I usually take it in an eight-ounce one and that lasts me every vacation I've had. It goes in here. Take it out. Yeah, but these are great because you're not going to have um, storage shelves or anything like that yeah. in the cruise bathrooms. They're really small. So this just hangs on your little yeah. shower cur curtain rod or on the um, shower head. And then you've got space here for razors or whatever yeah. else. Your space is very limited on the cruise as far as the bathroom. Uh, it's, it's like a tiny little wall. You get a curtain. Uh, usually there's like a little string that you can hang your uh, wet clothes on, but the space is definitely limited. This helps and everything is all together, hers and mine. Mm -hmm. But yeah, there's a bigger one that we'll take sometimes, um, and that we can, it's about twice the size and we can cram like everything in there. We can put all of our hair products in there, deodorant, 
I can throw some makeup in there and so that's a little bit bigger but we'll usually take that and then I'll just take a makeup bag for the rest of the stuff. Sometimes we, we fight over it and then we take both because... We've been better about that. We've been right. reducing our packing. Right. Try. I'm getting better. Okay. Packing cubes. We are big on packing cubes. Get these. They help. We separate. We usually have one for underwear, socks, nice shirts. Uh, casual shirts. Ca casual shirts. Shorts. Swim trunks. Swimwear. Uh, we have a lot of swimwear. <laughs> uh, and we separate all that so when we actually unpack because usually we would just live out of the suitcase because we don't like to put, hang it all up or put it in drawers so we'll live out of the suitcase we're With not this, about wasting time once we get on vacation yeah, exactly. we're just going to live out of these packing cubes so we'll just literally take the stack of them throw them in the shelves in the closet mm -hmm. in the cruise and we'll just unzip yeah. okay I need my swimwear all right. so they're it's already great. organized we yes. know I need a shirt so find the shirt bag exactly. really if we could color coordinate like shirt bag yeah. and that would be even better we need to do we, that we do have three sets of those in three different colors so we probably could work something yeah. like that out and right. one thing that we usually try to do is I it's kind of a pain um, but I will try to separate like a little bit of each clothing type mm -hmm. into each check bag and each carry-on so that any, mm -hmm. if anything happens to our check bags especially when you're going on a cruise because I mm -hmm. never know if the airline loses our luggage on a cruise Will it ever make it on the cruise ship, or are we just stuck with what we have? So right. I try to spread everything out as much as possible. That That is the one thing that I'll do. Once we get to our hotel room the night before our cruise, I'll start and I'll reorganize everything into the shirt bag, the pant bag, the swimwear bag, right. whatever. But you need swim trunks, you need you know decent shirts, uh, so you have to have that in your carry-on just in case. Yes. So that is important. Yeah, and another thing is to pack your... Uh, first day's dinner wear in your carry-on bag and if you think you would be getting in the water like the pool water slides whatever uh, pack some swimwear in your carry-on bag because sometimes if you check a bag it's not going to make it there until later that evening so it's good to have it um, and yeah, especially if you have kids uh, yeah they're gonna chomp it a bit. that's when I see most of the kids in the pool is like right when we get on the ship they're like that's the first thing they want to do yeah exactly it's the first thing they want to do so you see kids in the pool and they're all and that's when the party's right. going on all I'm the sure kids there's been the many of tantrums for kids that want to get in the pool and all, right. all the all the clothes are in the check bag God knows right. where exactly so <laughs> if you bring your kids swim trunks in the check bag you'll have them there they can get dressed they can go in the pool you can grab something to eat you know everybody's happy exactly um we always take a reusable laundry bag this is really excessive yeah but well, it's it's just fine not excessive <laughs> um it's great we hang it up in one of the the closets um on one of the coat hangers and we just shove all of our dirty clothes in there and then it's easy just to shove back in a suitcase mm -hmm. um when we're ready to come home yeah. it's reusable Love it. Or you're going to be like your aunt and wash all your clothes and put them back in all nice. We're not doing laundry. <laughs> <laughs> you want to talk about that? Not really. This is a you <laughs> thing. Um, this is just a little bag that we've gotten a couple of these at various places, but um, if you have anything you want to keep dry, money, copies of your passport, you know your driver's license. You don't really need to keep that, or your um, if you're on the beach, your cabin car drive. I don't like carrying that type of stuff. That's why I let her. Talk well, we have an alternative, so I'll yeah. show you that in a second. A couple alternatives actually, right. but this was like yeah. five or ten bucks. When we first um, got it, it was really neat. Yeah, and so and it's it got, does work. It's got a little clip. So anyway, this is your dry bag. You fold it up, put it in there, and then it's got a little clip, so you can yeah. clip it to your swimsuit or your bag whatever. or yeah. whatever you have. So that's very handy. Um, alternative number one, this is one of our favorite excursion bags. Mm -hmm. um, you can find a lot like this. This is a dry bag, but this one we like because it's got the padded straps because we will load this down with crap. Mm -hmm. We um, got that in what port? Was it Port Lauderdale? I don't or, remember where we got this. Or was it out, outside the country? But this one thinking. specifically is it's got one little pocket on the inside. One little pocket on the outside, so we'll keep like our phone and our ship cards there, so they're easily accessible. I keep my phone inside, <laughs> um, just in case. <laughs> but yeah, we can load this down with yeah, all kinds of stuff. You know, if you don't know what a dry bag is, you roll it down three times, you clip it, you know, and then you're done. You know, no water in there. It's great, easy, simple, 
And we use it all the time. Yeah, so when I say excursion bag, that's what I mean when what we take off the ship. So right. we're going to put, I'm going to put my wallet in there, um, my water bottle, um, and then we'll also start, when we start buying souvenirs, we'll start shoving that in there. Yeah. Um, so it's really handy to have. Fits a lot of things. Yes. <laughs> Definitely. So this, this will be, this isn't necessary, but these are smaller dry bags that you can buy like a bundle at Walmart and they have three different sizes and the thing that I noticed was I'll put my camera batteries in here usually a smaller one than this but shove all the camera batteries just in case there's water and that way I don't have to worry about or any other electronics like that yeah um, again we're over Packers so we don't usually have a lot of space left in our suitcase once we leave um, so if we buy too many souvenirs, usually our issue is buying alcohol because that takes up a lot of weight on our return oh, flight. Alcoholics. What? Um, so we usually take a packable duffel bag. As you can see, this packs up really thin. Which is where we put our dirty clothes. Yes. So we will put our dirty clothes in here and put, you know, any breakable souvenirs alcohol bottles in the hard suitcases yeah. but this is great nobody cares about dirty clothes getting back home we nope. want our alcohol yes and our souvenirs <laughs> souvenirs so alcohol. yeah and no one's gonna break open our dirty, dirty clothes bag so yeah, have exactly. at it yeah. <laughs> yeah. so this is gonna be a fun item this is something that I got probably a year or so ago through a Kickstarter but it's actually quite brilliant yet I did not unlock it but basically it is a one of the cinch bag but it's it's slash proof so if anybody was to take a knife to it they're not going to get in and this thing is actually cut proof from with uh, one of those wire cutters you can't cut it with wire cutters and if I can slowly get this you know unhooked you buy a better lock for it <laughs> but it uh, locks to these two rings you probably can't see them but you pull this out you put the lock through the two rings and then usually you'll wrap it around like a like a beach chair or anything it's good for the pool the pool the beach you take your belongings down usually you just have your swim trunks your maybe your phone and maybe your wallet to get drinks or, or food so you have these items, you don't have a big bag that you want to carry. This is great. Like I said, you wrap it around, you lock it down, and then you don't have to worry about anybody getting to your ship. But it, it's not very big, so you can't fit like a beach towel or something like that. But it does have a, a zipper pocket in there, and it's just a great little lock bag. And I think it's very useful. Uh, they have them on Amazon for about $99, I think. This is a trust bag. They have probably at least three other brands. One's like Loctite or something. Uh, I'll definitely put a link for one of those. Uh, but this is a neat little thing to have for sure. Okay, so moving on to clothing type things. Um, of course, you're going to want to have plenty of swimsuits. We pack a lot. But I there's nothing I hate more than a cold, soggy swimsuit. So... We usually have plenty. Mm -hmm. um, in addition to your swimsuits, we love these rash guards. Mm -hmm. um, you can buy them a lot of places now. I actually saw them at Sam's Club this year, oh. and um, you can usually get them at like beach shops. Yeah. But Amazon. Amazon. <laughs> <laughs> um, but they're usually like, what is it? It's like a. It's like UPF 50. Yeah. Is that what they usually are? It doesn't matter, any kind of UPS is going to be pretty decent. Yeah, so especially for someone like me who burns really easily, yeah. um, it's great when we're going on like snorkeling excursions, especially yeah. like the all day ones where we're gone for like eight hours and if we're already wet, you know, it's hard to get sunscreen to mm -hmm. apply right and I don't want to have to worry about, oh, I've been in the water two hours, I need to reapply, am I back frying while I'm... It's mainly if yeah, you already have... Sense fried the day before you don't want to risk that again you're already hurting that definitely helps but me to prevent that even though I'm a little darker skinned I will usually go like the first day without one but the rest of the days I will usually wear a, a, a no sleeve and then my arms get really dark and then I'll go to a short sleeve 
and then if it keeps going, I'll go to a full sleep. But yeah. I don't play around with the sun. Uh, Nobody it, wants to be miserable on vacation. Yeah, getting sunburned is not fun it at all. Sucks. It does. And then it, it almost ruins your whole vacation. Like, you get your neck burned, you can't sleep. Your back's burned, you can't sleep. Hurts to shower. Yeah, it hurts to shower. It's you know just, our pain. Yeah, so sunscreen is definitely important, but the rash guards definitely help. You don't have to worry about sunscreen. And you can get sporty stuff. It looks really good. Yeah, there's that's a more tight-fitting one, but you can actually look online for ones that are... Um, more looser fitting and then those actually work great as like t-shirts like if you're just like going into a restaurant you know if you don't have a cover-up you can wear that yeah. um, on the subject of cover-ups I always take a variety of cover-ups um, but these little wrap sarong type things um, you'll see that you've seen these before they're huge um, but you can wear them a variety of ways and they usually have them in port with this cute little like seashell thing and then they come with this instruction manual of all the different ways that you can wear it and how to wrap it. So um, I usually take at least one of these and then more of like a dress style cover up. Yeah. We got um, that in Fort Lauderdale. Yeah. Specifically. Yeah. But they have them everywhere. So cover ups are great. So bandanas. I like having usually quite a few different variety of colors. I like wearing them. And uh, from a previous video we have said it's good if you have an ATV uh, excursion. It will definitely keep the dust and mud off of your face. So I have the, the standard, uh, you know... Uh, square bandana. Yeah, square bandana. And then we have these newer ones which are the, the sleeves. And they usually have faces or something like that on them. And then they go around your neck and they can do different stuff. They can be a headband, they can put up girl's hair. Uh, it does all kinds of stuff. But, I would give you a demo, but my hair's already done. So. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but, yeah, it's good for, and it'll stay up on your face. She had trouble with the, the bandana staying on her face during an ATV run. And these stay up pretty well. Yeah, that, so I've done two ATV excursions. That one was great, the, the regular traditional bandana. It worked in a pinch. But definitely prefer the sleeve. Yeah. I like the good old cowboy bandana. Look. <laughs> um, always have a rain jacket. This is one that I got on Amazon and I love. It's super mm. lightweight. It you know folds up into almost nothing. It's packable. It's got a couple nice little zipper pockets that I can securely keep stuff in. It's not too hot, which is great for you know like Caribbean cruises. Um, and then it's also got a really big hood, which does a great job of like staying down and coming down over my face because um, you know girls know that sometimes especially if you have your hair up then hoods won't stay up they have a tendency to fall down but this one is big enough where it comes down and it stays down no matter how you have your hair so definitely a hooded um, rain jacket over an umbrella I have a Scotty vest that's similar so mine packs uh, a little more and it has a lot more pockets and, and arm room and I've used that for at least a decade, and I really like it. Mm -hmm. Not to promote Scotty Vest because their CEO is kind of a douche. <laughs> but I do like their, I used to like their products. Lately, they've been eh, a little, yeah. We bought one at Sam's Club uh, this year, and it's okay. It's a lot better, more comfortable, but it doesn't pack as fine as that Scotty Vest does. Mm -hmm. And they have a lot of Kickstarters that I've been a part of that are travel jackets, so that's a good place to, to look as well. But definitely a jacket. It's it's good to have the, the rain, because she was wanting to put an umbrella in there. And I think that just having the rain coat that's packable, and it provides, you know, wind resistance, and if it's a little cold out, you know, it's just yeah. nice to have a jacket. Some people like an umbrella. Um... But you're not going to be able to use an umbrella very well on a cruise ship with the wind. Right. But it may be better in port. Um, yeah. yeah, just at night, going on the cruise ship on the top deck, it's really windy usually. Just having a light jacket will make a difference. Mm -hmm. um, so one more thing about cruising is that you don't need to take towels. I don't know how much I can reiterate that. We do not pack towels, but this is a really cool towel that we wanted to show you we guys. We packed it once. We, on our first cruise before we found out they have towels. So they're going to give you a towel per person in your room. And 
you will be able to like exchange that at different stations or your cabin steward will exchange it for you if it's wet and you leave it on the floor or whatever. He'll bring you a clean one. But if you lose it or somebody steals it, you're charged for it. Yeah, it's like 20 or $25 charge if you lose it. So I would say if you have kids that you don't trust keeping track of their towel or you just don't trust yourself, whatever, you might want to take a cheap towel. Um, you can take them off the boat for your beach excursions. Yeah. But if you lose it, you get charged for it. So we don't do that. Yeah. We, what do we usually do? I don't think we've been taking a towel lately. I think we air dry. <laughs> you know, the good old fashioned way. Usually it's so hot when, yeah, when we're out. So, hot. so we don't mind being wet. Mm -hmm. being, being wet feels good. Okay, so back to this towel. It is a pretty neat towel. I don't even remember where we got this. I don't either. If you're big on laying out in your beach chair, you I might not you. be able to buy this anymore, <laughs> but we're going to show you how awesome I'm sure it is. somebody makes something like this. So, if you like to lay out in your beach chair, you'll see this little pocket here. Basically, you're going to put that over your beach chair, and yeah. then it has. And then it's really long, so yeah. it lays across the whole beach chair. So, it's got these little ties all the way down the side. So you don't have to tie it in, it, it stays Yeah, pretty so you firm. can secure it. But then it's got these little pockets here. Yeah. Um, where you can keep your cell phone, your wallet, whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then it also packs itself oh, yeah. into a bag. So you see this strap here. I'm not going to do it because it's... you going to do it? Yeah, there we go. There we go. So there. you throw the, the rest of the towel in there uh -huh. and it packs into a bag. And then you have a bag. <laughs> it's pretty neat. It is really neat. It's a little bulky. But if you don't pack that much and you really are just a beach lounger, that would be really good. Yeah. We don't sit on chairs. We, we do stuff. Yeah. We're always running. But if, if that's what I was going to do, read a book on a beach chair, I would take that. We don't. We bring fins because we're in the water. <laughs> but very cool little towel. All right. Let me see if I have any other notes that I've written down that we didn't cover. Um, there is a hair dryer in your room, so... I used to pack a little collapsible travel hair dryer, but don't even worry about that. Um, oh, dinner attire. So we are dinner attire. <laughs> I don't even know where I'm going. Come on. <laughs> dinner attire. So there are going to be at least one or more formal nights on your cruise and you're supposed to dress up for those. So for the other nights, they let you get away with basically whatever you want. But we've heard on... We saw one of those thong bikini, remember that? Wasn't that formal night? Though? I don't think that was formal night. I think she had a cover up on, right? You could see through everything. Yeah, you could see through <laughs> the cover up. Anyway, yeah, yeah so most nights on the dinner in the formal, formal dining room, you can get away with whatever, t-shirts, shorts, athletic shorts, whatever. Um, but when it's formal night, we hear if you don't show up in the correct attire, then we'll turn you away. We haven't tested that because we want our steak and lobster, but we hear. So just a word to the wise. So They if, probably won't, but we're not going to risk that. We like dressing up yeah, anyway. Yeah, and it's not super formal. I don't yeah. even think... Like, men can wear polo shirts, and I think you can wear dress shorts. Yeah, I usually wear dress... Not on, on formal night. You usually wear dress shorts on yeah. other or other nights. But, yeah, I think you can even wear dress shorts. But I think it's, like, no jeans, no athletic shorts, no open-toed shoes for men. When Women can obviously wear, like, dress sandals. Um, but, yeah, and women, you know, we can wear sundresses, whatever. Mm -hmm. um, we can get away with a little bit more. But... Definitely pack something nice for formal night. Mm -hmm. If you have multiple formal nights, help reuse it. Um, but we usually dress up. I usually do like a sundress every single night. Mm -hmm. And then he'll do like a polo and dress shorts every night. And then we'll go a little bit fancier. Mm -hmm. um, you know, kind of long pants, tie, cocktail dress style for formal night. Yeah, we like to dress up, so it doesn't bother us very much. And usually we, we're out doing stuff during the day. So we have to take a shower anyway to go to dinner. So... Mm -hmm. Whatever. We'll get nice. Mm -hmm. A tip for the ladies or anyone else that's perpetually cold like me, they keep like the comedy sh um, the comedy club, Show. the comedy club, and the theater freezing. So <laughs> I always take at least like a zip up fleece jacket that I wear. Um, 
sometimes if we're not like coming straight from dinner, I might even like throw on a pair of jeans. But at least I take like a fleece jacket and I'll wear that over my dress mm-hmm. because it is so cold in there. Nah, it's mm-hmm. all fine. Even your mom thinks it's cold. It's so cold. Cold for women. <laughs> Alright. Yeah. Well, later on we'll try to go into more videos on, like, I usually create a map of all the destinations that we go. And then we'll do an itinerary, try to get all the good attractions that we want to see, all the restaurants we want to eat at. We want to get all this stuff. So I use different uh, programs. Uh, Travelfy for itinerary. We'll use Google Maps. Uh, the My Maps part to do a map. Google Maps can do a lot of things yes. he does that I didn't know it could do. It's, it's really cool. So he definitely needs to do so, a video on that. Yeah, with the maps, I usually send it to everybody. And then I ask if there's anything that they're wanting or interested in doing, eating. And then I add it to that map. And then we all have are able to see everything. Even the houses that we're renting. How far away they are from certain things. It's a very useful tool. And hopefully we'll do a video on that as mm-hmm. well. So, look forward to it. <laughs> we have a stink bug in the house. <laughs> oh, bastard. I'm He's sure. been in here the whole time. I, know, I, was, I was looking up a couple times. <laughs> I know. You like, were talking you about something and I was totally like, squirrel. <laughs> 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 Shit. <laughs> oh, I'm sure it's in there somewhere. Yeah. I think we covered most things. So, I think we'll just have to end it there. I'm pretty sure there'll be other videos like this, because this is, this was mainly for a cruise, but some of it will go towards anything, like, like we said, uh, an all-inclusive or any kind of travel. So that's all we have for now. We were happy that you went through this little journey with us. <laughs> uh, be sure to come back for our later videos, and click subscribe, and give us a thumbs up.